In other global news, in a dramatic incident that puts the focus back on the islands in the Indo-Pacific region, Fiji's Prime Minister says he was forced to cancel an official visit to China after falling and hurting his head. Take a listen. Good afternoon. I'm uh, recording this from the official residence of the Prime Minister because I've just come back from the uh, hospital where I had a dressing put on my head for a, a small accident I had uh, this morning at uh, the main door of the buildings. Uh, not my fault, I was uh, looking at my mobile phone and trying to walk up the steps and I tripped and uh, hurt my head. I do not know whether my head is hurt more than the door or the door hurt more than my head. The doctor has asked me to come back for a review on Friday and they will change the dressing. So I have had to uh, inform China that I will not be able to undertake the trip that was coming up tomorrow night. I'm sure there will be other invitations later on uh, and uh, I hope I will be able to honor that invitation. There's a slight uh, blood stains on my shirt and a little patch on the head. Nothing to worry about. I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, speculations, but nothing to worry about. Nah. Well, the sudden pullout of the leader by the leader has raised speculations that this was an attempt to distance his country from China. Located between the U.S., China and Australia, the Pacific Island countries hold strategic importance for security and defense. While the U.S. has long maintained influence and a military presence in the Pacific region, China, on the other hand, has focused on strengthening its ties in Pacific through increased aid development diplomacy and security cooperation. And as U.S. and its allies seek to counter China's growing sway in the region, French President Emmanuel Macron denounces new imperialism in the Pacific during a landmark visit to the region, warning of a threat to the sovereignty of smaller states. French Prime Minister, on his first visit to Vanuatu, further added that France's Indo-Pacific strategy is above all those states and those states are ready to work with the French. First of all, there is the predation of the major powers. Foreign ships fish illegally in the exclusive economic zones. Numerous loans with leaning conditions are literally strangling development in the region. Commercial practices are being increasingly distorted. Interference is multiplying and new imperialisms are emerging in the Indo-Pacific, particularly in Oceania. And a logic of power is threatening the sovereignty of many states, the smallest and often the most fragile. French President's comments come as the U.S. Secretary of Defense, Lloyd Austin, marked his first ever visit to the island nation. During his visit, Austin said that Washington was not seeking a permanent base in the country. The Defense Secretary further announced the deployment of a U.S. Coast Guard ship to the Pacific nation. And I just want to be clear that uh, we're not seeking permanent basing in PNG. Uh, this is a fundamental fu a foundational framework to deepen that defense relationship that, again, goes back decades. Uh, so uh, the common values that we have, I think, are really, really important. And uh, this is an opportunity to, to expand upon uh, a long-standing relationship that's been strong throughout. So. The competition with China has escalated American efforts to increase security cooperation with Papua New Guinea. The U.S. has been seeking to deter Pacific Island nations from forming security ties with China. A rising concern amid tension over Taiwan and after Beijing signed a security pact with the Solomon Islands. The agreement that we are signing today is the Defense Cooperation Agreement drafted by...